Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. Although most of us grill all year round, barbecue season is officially here. There's nothing more summery than eating outside on a patio. The list of barbecued food is quite long, but one of the most popular to grill outdoors is steak. It's even better when it's paired with a delicious side dish. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my twice baked potatoes. This recipe is packed with yumminess. Also, it is the perfect pairings when it comes to steak. It is very easy to make and the results are super flavorful. So my friends, let's get cooking. So here we have a baking sheet lined with aluminum foil because we don't want to do extra dishes. You're with me on this one, right? Okay. Then we'll place our scrubbed, washed, dry, rusted potatoes on it, also known as baking potatoes. We'll pour a little canola oil on each potato, just enough to rub it all over the skin. By coating them with oil, the skin will get crispier, which makes things easier for the purpose of this recipe. We'll transfer the potatoes into a 400 degree preheated oven and bake for one hour or so. We'll remove them from the heat and check if the potatoes are done. So to find out, we'll use a knife and insert into the center of the potato. If it goes in easily, they're cooked. We'll let them cool off for a good 10 minutes so we can handle them easier. Meanwhile, we'll reduce the oven temperature to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So now that the potatoes have had time to cool off, we'll cut off a third of the potato lengthwise. Now they're still pretty hot, so be careful. You might want to use a paper towel or oven mittens. Next, we'll scoop the flesh into a medium bowl, including the top piece leaving about a quarter inch around the edges. I use a melon baller because it's smaller, so I don't take too much out. Then when we're done scooping, we'll place the top piece of the potato skin inside the bottom of the potato. That way, it makes a stronger vessel for the stuffing. Now we'll combine with our potato, cream cheese, red pepper, cooked bacon, green onions, butter, sour cream, garlic salt, freshly ground black pepper, hot paprika, and extra old cheddar cheese. We'll use a hand mixer and process until the ingredients are fairly blended together. Then we'll add only one tablespoon of milk at a time and process again. If it needs more, then we'll add another tablespoon and mix again. We don't want to add too much, but we want to add enough so the mixture is creamy, but not wet. My mixture wasn't quite there yet, so I added another tablespoon of milk. It's not an exact science because it depends on the size of the potatoes. And let's be honest, although I post all the measurements of the ingredients on the website, you might add a little bit more of this or a little less of that. Therefore, the quantity of the milk can vary. But I know you're very smart and clever and you'll figure out how much you need. And why do I know you're intelligent? Because you're watching my video. All right, so when we'll have our desired consistency, we'll spoon the mixture into the potato. Then we'll use a fork to lift and smooth the sides and top, just like this. We're not doing this to be artistic, Although it's always nice to have a great presentation, but we got a few more things to add. We're not done yet. So now we'll sprinkle our reserved ingredients on top, which are red pepper, green onion, bacon, and extra old cheddar cheese. Then we'll transfer the potatoes into a 350 degree preheated oven and bake for 15 to 20 minutes or until the cheese is golden brown. We'll remove from the heat and serve them immediately. And my friends, this is our twice baked potatoes. You won't believe how amazing these delicious potatoes are. They are the perfect side dish for a grilled steak. 
super loaded with yummy ingredients, these twice-baked potatoes will be the star of your next barbecue dinner. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit cupfoodie.com for ingredient amounts and more info. Until next time my friends, bon appétit!